So in this uh, video, um, the target is really to show how we made the integration with Chile. So Chile Publish, uh, which is um, a solution to uh, for the online editing source. For example, I've got here my Chile server. Uh, I'm just using where I workspace here document, and so here I've got one an invitation for an event. So if I double click there. Uh, so that's uh, this workspace is a Chile Publish uh, UI, and so it's uh, it's one of the hottest idea online editing uh, system on the market. So what you can do is you can change you can change the text, uh, you can change the picture. You can change your style, you can do anything you want to your, to your InDesign document. Okay, so that's the, on the Chile side. And so, of course, the idea is, is what is to be able to do exactly the same in two years. Uh, for that, in fact, uh, we are on the Chile server, we install a GDF device. And so, as you can see here on the Dalim WS uh, interface, we have a Chile uh, connections there. And so now I'm using my uh, uh, the same logins, logging into our system. So, uh, how we did the setup? In fact, we just added, our, first of all, of course, a GDF device. The GDF device is, is there. So, I've got two of them, one for <coughs> my yes, and the other one for the Chile server. Uh, the next step is, of course, to set up a volume. So, here's the Chile volume. And so as we can see there, if you click on choose, you can browse all the file system of, of the Chile server. And on my side, I just choose the right folder to edit my documents. And of course, as any file system mounting in two years, you can you have to set up a workflow so on the for the default system just using a previous generation workflow and a small view just to display um, the information and features around my assets. And so, um, if I'm going to the production side now, I've got my Chile volume. So, click on this one. So, as for example, so I've got all my interaction, uh, this folder. Uh, something which is important also is, of course, uh, we set up a, a layout of information. And in this layout of information, what we uh, what we did is just to set up the access to our, the Chile Publish server uh, with the environment information and the directory we are using uh, in Chile, and of course this information is used for any subfolders in the Chile directory. So um, if I come back to that folder, so you can view uh, the Chile information there in the metadata uh, uh, window. And so what what we did, what we did in fact is uh, of course you know that in ES as soon as you have PDF or any assets you open dialog. Uh, now ES is able to recognize that it's a Chi file. So if I double click now on that files, what's what's happening? I've got the Chi viewer yes in two ES. So the connection is happening now. And as you can see, you have exactly the same. So you can find exactly this, of course, based on the workspace, which is, which here defines all the actions and all the setup. So I can go through all the different pages of my documents there. So for example, <clears throat> and of course, I can edit the files. So for example, there I can uh, add <clears throat> this way, um, I can move the picture. Oops, sorry. Uh, I can move a picture, something like that. I can scale that picture. Okay. Uh, I can also assign a new picture that had been uploaded into uh, into my GD server, as for example. So. Uh, if I just want to add here this one, the Dalim logo, 
So as you can see, I have to scale that logo there. Oops. Okay, that's good. And so now I can save. And so, of course, I need to reprocess my file. So I just have to reprocess my my chi files, connection to chi, getting the preview. And it's okay. So, and as you can see, the chat documents that change the text and the picture. Okay, so that's uh, so now as that's as now we're, the uh, we change the text the and the picture are, are in the Zen document. So, uh, I will use uh, this file to uh, and to send this file into uh, a project. And for that, in fact, in the admin on the workflow. Uh, on the, on the document workflow, uh, we set up a, a new workflow, which, which is this one. And so as we can see, in fact, we're, um, we have two new steps. Uh, one step is the Chili copier, and this step is there to, uh, to copy files from, from Chili to our job, and the Chili PDF to, uh, to get a preview of the PDF coming from Chili and then into, uh, into yes. So, uh, based on this workflow, uh, I created a job, which is this one. Uh, so, this job uh, is a simple one. So, with that workflow, we have one approver. And what I have to do is just to drag and drop, in fact, our chi files into uh, the job. And so, what's happened? And so, um, where are the chi files there? Uh, okay, uh, of course, you have all the metadata links to your, your chili files, the same as we had before. And as you can see, we, have, uh, we are waiting for an approval. Okay, so of course, at this stage, you can still open the, the chili files using the viewer chili. You can at least change the text, any pictures, uh, as we did before in the file system. So this one is, uh, uh, okay, it's, it's open now. Okay, so you can review your document, you can change anything you want there. Okay, and so now uh, I just have to approve the file. So I just want to, uh, yes. And so one, one, what's going on now? So uh, we do not have milestones, so I can view anything there. But now the file has been approved by my user, and if I double click now on that file, what's going on? It's it's dialog. So we get a preview, in fact, of the of a chief uh, of a chief, uh, server, and uh, and get it now into into dialog when you can mark up your files, you can do anything as as you were as you are accustomed to do into into yes. So that's uh, that was the last. Uh, uh, the second step of this demonstration. So, so that's all. Thank you.